Hi, I'm Senator Martin Heinrich. It's my honor to welcome you to the New Mexico EPSCoR Smart Grid Center's Distributed Energy Summit. I am proud to support the great work being done at the Santa Fe Community College's Smart and Microgrid Training Center to prepare our workforce for careers in the clean energy economy. And I'm grateful for all the New Mexicans attending this summit who are showing what it means to think thoughtfully about this transition and to move our state forward. You're the driving forces that will help us achieve our state's full potential in the development of clean power. And your innovative ideas will help us lead the world in the deployment of distributed energy technologies. New Mexico has been a global leader in energy production for more than a century. But we have our work cut out for us if we want to maintain our state's leadership and prepare our communities for a rapidly transforming energy landscape. To do that, we need to quite literally focus our energy on accelerating our deployment of alternatives to hydrocarbon combustion. The hydrocarbons that you and I are putting into the atmosphere from our homes, offices, and vehicles are fueling more destructive wildfires, reducing our snowpack, and contributing to the worst drought New Mexico has seen in hundreds of years. Our reliance on those same hydrocarbons is also propping up Vladimir Putin's unprovoked aggression and horrific war crimes in Ukraine. And it is leading to costly gas prices and more expensive monthly utility bills for New Mexico families. That's why we need to do all we can to accelerate the transition to a clean, resilient, and distributed electric power system. I've been focused on this mission for a long time. When I was a college engineering student, I joined a team that built a solar-powered car that we raced across the nation. Throughout my time in Congress, I fought for policies to scale our deployment of distributed energy technologies and build a clean and resilient grid. This is a pivotal moment in this transition. Earlier this month, I was pleased to see President Biden provide American solar companies with a reprieve from the impacts of a tariff case that had literally frozen the American solar industry and caused thousands of layoffs. This will allow our locally owned solar companies to get back to business, scaling up our deployment of both rooftop and utility scale installations. I also welcome the President's use of the Defense Production Act to scale up our domestic manufacturing of clean technologies such as heat pumps, solar components, and electrolyzers. Those actions come on top of historic investments in energy R&D, a nationwide electric vehicle charging network, and grid resilience that we passed as part of the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act. But if we are going to truly meet this moment, we must steer transformative clean energy investments and climate action across the finish line in the Senate and on to President Biden's desk. I have been especially focused on delivering powerful tax incentives to encourage private industry to build new clean energy generation projects and high voltage transmission lines. These new transmission lines like Western Spirit and Sun Zia are what will allow us to dramatically expand our grid's capacity for new clean power. I'm also fighting to pass the voluntary point of sale rebates in my bill, the Zero Emissions Homes Act, to help families with the upfront costs of installing clean and efficient electric home appliances like heat pumps and induction stoves. I'm also supporting our local communities that are taking bold steps to decarbonize their economies, conserve precious water resources, and invest in solar, electrification, and efficiency. And I am supporting New Mexico's colleges, universities, and labor unions as they prepare our workforce for new careers in emerging clean technology fields. On that note, I want to especially commend New Mexico EPSCoR for all you're doing to prepare New Mexico for our clean energy future. Over the last four years, EPSCoR has built an amazing track record investing more than $20 million in groundbreaking research in New Mexico. And by helping to attract an additional $82 million in outside funding, 
EBSCOR has seen a more than four to one return on investment. EBSCOR is fostering productive working relationships between our national labs, undergraduate colleges, and research universities. And as the new Smart Grid Center at Santa Fe Community College demonstrates, EBSCOR is focused on building successful training pipelines for clean energy careers. We all have a role to play in addressing this greatest problem of our generation with solutions that will make a real difference. When I think about why this is so important, I think about what I am passing on to my boys. I want to leave them and future generations with the same New Mexico landscapes and waters that I've grown to treasure. That will only be possible if we implement solutions quickly enough, and only if our solutions are proportionate to this immense challenge. Thank you for what each of you are doing to create those solutions.